Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my variegated Monstera collection. Before we get into this video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I have YouTube memberships you can join if you're feeling thrifty. It's awesome, you'll get access to the Discord and other YouTube channel only member perks. And I have merch, which you'll be able to see in the drop down box. But without further ado, let's get into the variegated Monstera, which I know you're just dying to see, oh my God. Okay, so the very first Monstera we're gonna start with is of course, the lady herself. So this is actually two variegated monsteras. This leaf right here is a completely separate plant uh, that goes down into the soil. And I don't anticipate this one to give me new growth for at least a couple more months. We have this whole guy right here. So this beautiful situation, which is these four leaves right here, and then this new one that's coming out right now, as you can see right there, that all came from this which was the very, very last leaf of the Albo that you guys have heard so much about. The eight leaf Monstera Albo I was able to purchase at the beginning of 2020 for a mere $400, which obviously is a lot of money, but I had been saving for months and it was a massive plant that right now would probably go for $1,500 or $2,000. But Chris and I got married, we needed some extra money to move, so I cut down my plant and I kept only the last piece, <laughs> which is the ugliest leaf uh, because it had um, thrips forever ago. So that's like thrip damage, but don't worry, it's fine now. It took actually eight or nine months for it to put this out. And it's been putting out one leaf every three weeks, even though I haven't been fertilizing it or anything. And uh, yeah, so this was the first little leaf right here, um, which is like a little half leaf which can happen with Borzigiana. And then it put out this leaf, which is just gorgeous. I mean, it's so like weird. Then it put out this leaf, which finally kind of looked normal. And look at just the mintiness on there. Oh, I'm just so happy. And now it's putting out this leaf, which is about to actually separate from the petiole. Come on. It's about to actually separate from the petiole. So we will see, we will probably see her unfurl later this week. Right now it is Monday. So, oh, I'm just so excited because this got to work. Now all we have to do is wait for this bad boy to get to work and look at those jeans. Wow. So this one that I'm showing you right now is an elbow that I got from Botanica's. And this one I got from Asian Epiphytes, uh, which has now rebranded as Woohoo Tropical. So yeah, but that is, that is my babies. And these are both Monstera Borzigiana, I believe. Tanica's one might be Deliciosa, but I don't even think that they are keeping track of that because it doesn't really matter, honestly. But um, usually how you guys can tell the difference between Borzigiana and Deliciosa is Borzigiana will put out very long internodal spacing, sometimes an inch or more in the stem. And Deliciosa will just be stacked on top of each other. So I bought this Botanica's one for 150 halfway through 2020 which is like my favorite thing I've ever bought in the world. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just waiting for that one to put out new growth and I, I want to pull it out. I know that it's rooted in there. Like I could let go of this whole pot and let this hold it, but that's how rooted in there it is. I have kind of a half idea to cut this leaf off just cause I don't like it, but I'm gonna wait until this gets a lot bigger first and I'm gonna let this grow probably all the way through summer and then at the end of summer is when I will cut it down and then sell some and probably do some fun elbow giveaways. So go follow me at Plant Me Ashley if you haven't yet. That's where I do all of my giveaways. Isn't she so pretty? Oh my God. So we're gonna move on to the next plant. We're gonna save the coolest one for last. So stick around to the end of the video to see the coolest one. All right, I'm gonna show you the next semi coolest one which is sitting right here next to me. I actually have a couple of these that I have gone out and um, collected from the grocery stores. Ooh, this one's gonna put out a new leaf soon. Okay, so this probably doesn't look like anything to you, but if you look up close, where are you? Oh boy, you like can't even. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so this leaf 
right here is actually sport variegated. Oh, there you go. You can see it nicely like that. And it's actually only this leaf and then there's barely some on the leaf before it. So what I did is I purchased it because it was only uh, $10 and we are now going to wait and watch and hope for more variation. I've been keeping this one downstairs. I am actually currently waiting for it to put out its next leaf, which I hope will be variegated because the stem does have some variegation on it. So I'm hoping I just caught this one early and that it's gonna blossom into a beautiful Monstera butterfly that we can take care of forever on this channel and we can give it a fun name. And then maybe one day when it gets big enough, I can take a cutting and we can do a giveaway. It'll be so much fun. And then we can, we can share it because sharing the plants is what it's all about, am I right? Am I right? Anyways, so that is this beautiful girl. I went sport hunting at Lowe's and I actually posted a video about this, I think three weeks ago, which you can see on this channel. All right, are you even ready for this? This is another Monstera I found at Lowe's and you can probably already see it. This one is significantly variegated compared to the other ones I have found. Da, 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 da. Check that out. Isn't that amazing? So this one has strong variegation on the stem. This leaf right there. Okay, there it is. So this whole plant um, is actually variegated. So it's this right here, this, this body, like this plant right here, which is in this big pot. So we had that leaf and then we have this leaf which is minorly variegated. You can see those kind of tiny little white flecks right there. And then right here is the very bottom leaf on the plant, which is variegated. So that was a really exciting find. I found that I think two weeks ago, just at my heckin' Lowe's. And it took me digging through literally all of them to find it. The reason I haven't separated it is that those little plants are like fully rooted right now with the mother plant. And a lot of them have like interchanging root systems. So if I were to uproot that, it could cause trauma to the plant, uh, which normally I wouldn't be worried about. I'd be like, suck it up plant, just deal with being repotted. But these, these are developing sport variegated monsteras that I do not want to <laughs> cause issues with. I want them to grow and blossom and become who they're meant to be. And how can I do that? If I uproot them and separate them from their mother growth root ball, it won't be good. I know that there are people who do separate stuff like that just because they don't want the rest of the plant, which I understand. I don't wanna do that because I just think it's too much of a risk and I don't have a greenhouse, I can just like chuck it into, you know what I mean? But now, are you ready for the most exciting variegated Monstera that I own? It's actually too big for me to sit here with you and show you. It's this. This plant behind me. It is this one. Wow! She is large. This, this one, woo! that I got, I got from Albertsons. Okay, I got it from the Albertsons that is a couple miles away from my house. And I was just there routinely with my best friend Reed and we were getting cheese and wine like sophisticated ladies do. We were also getting a bouquet of flowers because we were headed in to the Rose Garden to do a summer photo shoot. Here, I'll show you a photo of how that went. It was a very good photo shoot. But as we walked in through the doors, do you know what I saw? I saw a variegated monstera and it was beautiful, okay? It was incredible. It was, it was this. Woohoo! Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you off the tripod and I'm going to show you up close because that plant is massive and I cannot hold it in my lap and talk to you. I have I have to visibly show it to you. Here she is. You can actually already see the variegation on most of the leaves. So this plant has two full stems of variegation. One of them I actually chopped off in this unbebe plant. Unbebe bebe. Yeah, so here she is. Here is the first leaf on the large stem. This is the second leaf, which I've had some battles with. Wow, look at that. Then we have our third leaf, 
which is just incredible. The newest leaf. And that little spot right there is actually from Thrip Damage, which I believe we've gotten rid of. So um, I haven't seen Thrips on it in a few days. I actually just treated it. That leaf is just absolutely incredible. And it just sits right here in my window. Yeah, and I actually cut the stem right here. You can see I sliced it right here to trade for my Ilsa Manii, which is right here. And it actually just gave me this baby, which is so variegated. Oh, this is a travesty. Isn't that incredible? That's the newest leaf. So we will actually start seeing a whole new uh, variegated plant come off of this one, which is so exciting. And then this one I also had to cut too. I don't believe this one was variegated, but I could have missed something. So that's putting out a baby as well. Yeah, and it actually kind of looks like this one might be variegated too. Um, it's got some serious like defects going on with it, which usually uh, means that we might end up seeing some kind of variegation. So this one was all crazy, right? All wonky and crazy. On this one, which is the newest leaf on that stem, we got this little indent right here. So it's not a different color, but it is there. It's something. So yeah we will see when this one put out puts out its next leaf we might actually see some more variegation and more leaves so i feel extremely lucky to have snagged this at the local grocery store these are everywhere right now i'll put a photo on a screen of one my friend found the other day at home depot and yeah isn't that just insane so so that is my variegated monstera collection i hope that you enjoyed it let me know down in the description box if you've ever actually found one for sale i believe that like the total cost of all these plants because i bought this one originally for 400 and then 150 for botanicas would be 550 and then 15 and 15 each was 30 that was 30 60 dollars plus 550 would be like 610 or something i haven't actually bought any variegated monster albums since last july um or any variegated monster at all period except for ones from grocery stores so just go check out your grocery stores if you don't want to pay all those crazy prices i promise if you go often enough and you check the right places you will be able to find variegated monstera for $30 or less. Yeah, I hope that you had fun with me. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me tonight. This is fun. This is a fun time. So I hope you had fun. I had fun. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at PlanMeAshley. I have merch. Check out the merch. Please become a member. Follow me on Instagram at PlantMeAshley and leave a comment and a question down below. If you have any of those, I'd love to help answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next houseplant section. Goodbye! I'm just in the leaves. I'm just in the leaves. Okay, bye. Bye!